Akal, if you're very skilled, Akal, it's really hard, no? She calculated all her skills, especially pag listen then, na. I, I remember na nag-custom game kami. It, it was so hard to get a pick-off with Vittorio using the listen. So, for me, it's just the same as Akali. If you don't know the, the movement, kung paano siya mag-micromanagement, it's really hard to turn her down. No? Uh, pero, well, well, I'm saying that BBB Dragon, yung nagpanalo sa kanila against next play, is gonna be using that Yasuo. Yan yung nag, uh, maraming outplays. Tingnan natin kung paano gagawin ni BBB Dragon kung magdodominate ba ang BBB in this game. Kasi ang playstyle ng BBB actually is taking the early game. Yup, they're taking and plus they know how to actually get an objective, you know. Siya sila nga din yung unang nag-gank and yeah, after the scout nerf, they got the scout nerf, they will honestly sunod-sunod na yung gank nila because they utilize that um, vision. Yes. Pero walang invade talaga ako nakikita ngayon sa bagay niya. Ito pala yung unang kong cast pero well invasion, they're not taking it. Not like the first day? First day. Yes, actually, kasi ang invade kasi is a very high risk, high reward play. Uh, if you're gonna commit for an invade, get ready. If you're not gonna be able to secure the objective, you're gonna be punished very hard. Especially if you call your invading team. And napakahirap nun kasi ang dami mong iisipin kung enough ba yung damage mo, enough ba yung, uh, yung retribution mo para maka-steal. Yung mga ganun, ano, uh, you want as much possible in this game na meron kang safe start para sa early pa lang makakakuha kayo ng objectives. Yung yep. na magiging behind kayo. Uh, if you invade, tapos sa punish kayo, wala ka ng chance. Mm. Or diba? just secure everything. Like, eto, sinisecure na ni Alistair yung Scudder. Nag-aaway talaga si Dijan. Kasi Dijan talaga nag-uumpisa yung BBB. They have to get that Scudder to get that gun. Yan talaga yung pinaka-most priority nila in the early. Yun din yung nakita natin sa first game nila na getting that Scudder and having the gang, the opportunity to gang. And then, sunod-sunod na. Pagdating ng 3 minutes, magdi-DR, magdi-reset na yung mga yan, tapos DR, tapos doon na naman sila. Doon na actually nagkakamali sa DR talaga eh. Actually, doon din sa first uh, Actually, sa 4 minutes kasi yung pinaka-importante. Mm -hmm. So, as much as possible, if you're gonna go and burn your ultimate, uh, iba-burn nyo siya at the 3 minute mark. But mm -hmm. if you're not gonna be able to burn your ultimate your flashes there, uh, just keep it safe and get it ready for that DR contest or DR secure. Kasi doon talaga dapat ginagamit yung mga ultimates. Kasi minsan, ah, pero ngayon kasi hindi pr masyado priority kung may drago na lalabas. So, para sa akin, ah, negligible, pwede mo siya ibigay. Or, alam mo, kumuha na kayo mo yung abang objective. Or, first two red, yes. Oo, oh, yung tinitrade nila kanila doon sa first game. So, tinitignan din talaga ng mga players kung ano ba yung mga DR na nakikita nila. So, if it's infernal, for sure they're going to contest it. And, I'm... Pretty much excited because magre-reset na yung mga yan. Or, ito yung time pag sinasabi mo sa 3 minute, kailangan na nilang like, mag-trigger ng flash. Mag-burn of flash or something. Pero hirap na hirap si Malphite dun sa may top lane talaga. I-utilize yun ng isa. Actually, hindi si Malphite yung hirap na hirap. Ang hirap na hirap yung Oriana kasi ang ganda ng clear, con uh, clear wave control ng isang Yasuo. Ikita-kita natin doon, uh, maraming creeps na namimiss tong si Oriana kasi kinokontrol ni Yasuo yung lane. And at the same time, pag every time na mag-front dito, si Oriana, pinapanish niya, going for those dashes, plus the, uh, you know, Steel Tempest. And tignan mo, naka-static shift na agad ang Yasuo on to the first confrontation. This is gonna be difficult for them. And nag-back na si Oriana for the buying of, para bibili na siya ng items. Pero and, pag nag-back na siya, meron na silang chance to go for a secure. I, I think for that, Oriana just have to keep her composure right with the Yasuo. I think makakakuha naman sila ng magandang shot kung pag sama-sama siya. It's just that pag one room with Yasuo, yung mahirap ka rin ang dami niyang mabili siya mag-clear. And the scout there is clear here on the side of the BBB and they're starting in that break. There's gonna be a good contest here. Wala din yung sa BR yung lahat sila na nabito. Pinasok na ngayon. It's gonna be a first blood. Mauna din yung isang rakad. Pinasok pa ng isang Akali. Frontliner siya dito. But here comes apat ang nandito sa side ng SB. Hindi nila pinapalagan. Pumalit dito ang isang Alistar. Marireset ang Drake. Ano masasabi mo doon? Uh, actually, hindi naman talaga nila pumapalaga ng Akali ng Twilight Crowd. Uh, so, ang ginawa niya doon, plus the Shuriken, plus the five-point strike. Grabe yung damage, and the Cataclysm is gonna be used, and flashes are gonna be burned on that Oriana. 
Pero meron pa namang classes yung all your members ang tinakaan And the misfortune they still have a chance to go for a secure on a dragon Pero this is gonna be hard Chan, ang daming damage coming in there Bullet time is gonna be used, ang daming damage Going and bursting that Alistair Pero at the same time, look at that Akali Finishing off everyone with a short game of 5 points fight Wala pang perfect execution dyan mga Lodi Woo! Grabe pinakita nyo! Uy! May hirap nyo nit! Meron pang flash nyo nangyari doon. I'm seeing that Akali, kapag sinabi ko sa inyo, calculated micromanagement of Akali, it's really hard to pick her off. Yun lang yung sinasabi ko. Especially, wala pa siyang ultimate that time. Pero nahuli niya yun. Pag nagkaroon talaga siya ng chance, she will take it. And doon na nasira yung pangarap sa early game natin sa may break lang. Hindi pa nakuha yung break actually. Sabi ko nga, this is not a high priority target oh. break. Dapat nag-trade na lang siguro sila. Kung pinin mo, nakuha na na kayo ng isang kill, mm. huwag na kayong mag-contest. Ah, papahirapan at papahirapan nyo lang sinyo. O ngayon, sila na mag-ano yan. Magka-counter initiation for sure. Umaanda na si Araki. Getting the black stone and the full rise head ball. Eric's gonna connect. Nakuha nila yung dragon. But at the same time, they're gonna be punished for a TVB. Still chasing them. That perfect execution plus a shuriken. It's gonna be used. Wala pang namamagayin sa side ng BBBB. Ang si Alistair is tanking the turret fire. And Rakan is also gonna fall. And Yas will also get one kill for himself. And sabi nga nila, huwag banyas. Ano? Ulit? Huwag banyas. What, what, what do you mean by huwag banyas? Eh, kasabihan kasi kami mga lol player. Pag, ano? pag uh, gusto mong magyas, huwag banyas. Kasi cancer daw itong hero na ito. Pero nakikita natin, si Dragon ba ay isang cancer? Hindi yan cancer. Actually, he did. He did great. He did great on his place kanina dyan sa may DR side. And... As you can see, na push na yung bottom turret. Wag daw banyas for the Yasuo. Actually, Yasuo is very effective now in the Wild Drift. Mas madami siyang nagagawang placing. And especially the Akali kanina, napakaganda yung opportunity niya na maging frontliner during together with the Alistar. Yung combo din kasi na sinusundan doon ni Corky eh. Yung damage. Kaya, kaya nasa sweep off agad ni Akali. Yes, and also yun yung sabi mga frontliner sa bagay na bagay sa pagiging nurse tong Akali natin, di ba? Di siya takot na oh. pumasok. Pero sabi mo nga, Yasuo is very effective, pero I disagree. Kasi may mga Yasuo players ako nakikita pumapasok. Hindi naman siya frontliner. Hindi marunong, hindi marunong. <laughs> Kasi may mga ganong mga players. Yun yung sasabihan mo. Hindi mo, mo. Hindi mo alam yung mechanics. So, is that zero. Pero mga kasi sabi ko yan, nag-train sila ng tower na nabotin yung sa top play. Ayan, Alistair is getting oh. a lot of damage from that Olaf na gamita na ang top of a force yeah, but man. Akali is gonna be brought down by that misfortune with the bullet time pero it's gonna be a trade for a second turret dito sa top lane yun na nga may rip herald sila doon and the, I think for me that was a good trade kasi iwanan na lang nila si Harold Anderson dyan yun nga yung sinasabi mo kay Yasuo pero I think for the tournament naman siguro kung gagamitin ng Yasuo marunong sila like si 5722 magaling na Yasuo player yun I mean dito masasabihin talaga siguro na experience mo yun sa mga rank games na gumagamit ng Yasuo hindi hindi lang sa rank games syempre may napapanood din naman akong mga gumagamit ng Yasuo sa ano pero hindi ko na lang sasabihin kung sino sino alam niya naman yung mga viewers di ba <laughs> pero kasi mahirap din kasi yung mechanics actually ni Yasuo if ginamit mo yung mga dashes, you need to account din kung paano ka makakaalis sa mga crashes. And yun yung hirap doon. Paano pag nakuha mo na lahat ng dashes mo doon sa mga minion waves, sa mga heroes, yep. paano katatakas? Yun nga. Kaya kailangan i-utilize yung i-capitalize mo yung skill mo kay Yasuo kasi dependent din naman siya sa skill niya. And yeah, bilis nung game na nun. It's only going for 9 minutes. Ang daming turns na down dito ng BBB. It can be a rampage again. From their side, as you can see, so bra, grabbing confident nila, especially dun sa unang break na med na wipe out nila dun ang SB Empire. Actually, kasi ina one v one potential panalo si Yasuo, panalo tong si Akali. So ang kailangan lang nila dito ay takita nila dito para pumaray last breath combo. Pero yan na grand entrance, wala na mang damage coming in from the side of SB Empire Esports. Pero ako sinasabi ko yan, Akali is slowly building away on the top lane. Pero napatay niya si Malphite. This is gonna be a train. All up gets a kill. But BBB secures another tower on the side of the SDFI Esports. Wala na masyadong turrets dito sa labas ng base. 
ng FBFA is for so palit ng palit na kanilang vision control. Oo. Yun yung mahirap kapag ano eh. Kailangan na siguro nila dito maglagay talaga ng mga trinkets kasi for sure next na gagawin ito ng DVD they're just gonna get a uh, that brush there. Nagsasama-sama na dito ang side ng SV Emperor. At magkakasulubong sila dun sa merong Riverside here. Ka Uy, mauuna na naman dito ang isang Alistar. Napaganda nung nakapsunod na ng isang yaso na dito. Sonya was rock here. Pero iniisa-isa ng BBB. Kinahabol. Triple kill for that Quirky. And next is another sleeve. For that day for dominating for that Yasuo, hindi mo masasabi ang wag banyas. Dahil... Ah, oh, dapat sinasabi mo talaga wag banyas kasi magaling yung Yasuo. Ah, sasabihin ba pag magaling wag banyas? Oo, oh, wag banyas. Ano kailan ng banyas? Wag ban Yasuo. Yun yung ah, yun wag yun. ban Yasuo? <laughs> akala niya, akala niya, ano, Filipino word, yung oh, banyas. Oh, yeah, so it's wag ban Yasuo. Yeah, so okay. Now I learned uh, pero, a lot of... Um, ang pangit ng setup ko ng SB Empire Esports. Nagkita kasi sila dun sa river. Nagkasalubungan oh, sila pero doon. Pero nagkasalubong sila, Given. Pero pupwesto ka ba dun sa gitna ng river kung uh, dihado yung team mo? Di ba hindi? Siyempre hindi. Dapat lagi king tago. Nandun kayo mm. sa jungle side nyo, saka kayo papasok. You already have that malfight. You have that makan. Diba? Bullet time dun sa safety and dito sa shockwave. Napakadaming time and ang kapalit nun is the is coming in from VVV. They were able to secure now the Baron and the Infernal Trace. Kawawa-kawawa ang side ng SVM for eSports in this game. Yes, and ayun, kahit ano, kailangan siguro nila na matinding pagkakamali nila ng VVV, yun lang yung makikita ko para makabawi sila. Pero nagkina na naman sila sa Malin, Espinita, bullet time, pero not enough damage! Pero may mamamatay dito, Quarky is on a legendary, pinasok pa ng isang Akali, fallback! Yun lang lang, makikita nila, hindi na sila dapat lumingon pa, pero mamamatay sila doon, and I think this is gonna be a GG for them. They're going to push this third, pinasok pa din, it's gonna be a triple gun for that quadra kill, rather, for that Quarky. And it's an ace. Yes, and that will be the end of SB Empire. Sadly, na matay pati Corky. Pero this is a very dominating match from VVV against SB Empire Esports. And sadly, SB Empire Esports is now going to be eliminated from this tournament. And kita kita natin don siya. Ito nang sinabi ko eh. VVV on VVV Dragon on that Yasuo mm -hmm. is going to be very very dangerous. Krabi yung mga last bet combo. Wag banyas. Pero. <laughs> Hindi na natin kailangan patagalin. Wag ban yes. Kasi sobrang oh. diin nung sabi mo. So parang akala ko, yung word ban yes, there's a, there's a word ban yes. So sabi ko, ano yung ban yes? Kasi hindi ko naman alam yun. Like, madami naman ako alam sa Tagalog. Pero ban 